I really didn't want to have to do this because I do this every single time Roxanne has a problem, but, um, <sighs> knock, knock, knock. Uh, come in. I'm busy picking my nose. I'm so sorry, but your baby? I'm in my room or my bathroom. What are you? Are you? I... Um. Hey, uh, can you do me a favor and see if you see anything up there? Um. Yeah. Uh. All clean? Not that I'm seeing. Uh, hold on. Give me just a second. I can. Uh. -huh. Uh, uh. No, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, cool. What's up? <sighs> Look, I, I didn't want to have to come to you about this because I feel like I come to you about this every single time that something happens. But, um, <sighs> you know how Roxanne's been acting weird and she kind of has her issues going on? I mean, I do live with your father. So, yes, <sighs> I've heard That's plenty about I... um, how the love of his life has forgotten him. Though, I have to admit, he's kind of taking it well. Or well, then I oh. take it if Glamrock Bonnie forgot about me. I think he's just kind of done with these situations. I get it. I mean, she kind of flip-flopped really fast. What else can you do? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever figured out what exactly happened? If I'm honest, I'm kind of trying to stay uninvolved. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm completely honest, I was actually trying to keep you uninvolved. Not because I don't think you can help, but just because... Every single time something happens with Roxanne, I feel like I always come to you for it because you're kind of my tech expert. But, I mean, after you shattered her and everything, which wasn't completely, you know, your yeah. fault. Um, and plus, I mean, I, I I kind of saved the day. It's just also yeah. people were really mad at me for doing that. And yeah. I'm trying not to do that again. Yeah. Look, that's besides the point. I mean, it also... <laughs> your whole relationship drama with her in the past. There's just a also lot of that. emotions that could get yeah. mixed in with this. And I was just really trying to keep you not involved. <sighs> but Look, here you I, are, I suppose, getting me involved. Right? Yes. Well, I wanted uh, Cassie to help because I'll be honest, she almost rivaled... I mean, you're really smart, but Cassie's also super smart and she kind of rivals you in, you know, just technological advancements and knowledge and that sort of stuff. So... I thought maybe she would be perfect to help, but sure, uh, we're we're kind of fighting right now. It's a whole thing. It's not really that big of a deal. I just oh. wait, 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 wait. You can't just you know roll past that. Fighting about what? You're twelve. What's I, the tea? I come on, tell her, Aunt Circus, baby. I told her that I love her. Ooh. Isn't that a good thing? I thought so, but she kind of blew up on me for it. She's what? kind of going through it right now mentally. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be really supportive of it, but it's like she doesn't want to be supportive of me. So I, I've been trying to just keep my distance as of late because that seems like what she wants. Um, but you know what? It's, it's not a big deal right now. I, I just want to use the rage and my annoyance right now to figure out a way to fix Roxanne. I even went to Sun and Moon seeing if they could help. I mean, they're all they're all sorts of technologically advanced. They can do everything. Honestly, it feels like. Sure. <sighs> Sun and Roxanne are, you know, kind of awkward right now because, well, Why? remember when Roxanne was at the daycare and you drove me there? Yeah. Um, When I showed up, she was destroying the place oh. thinking that Sun had stood her up for her date that was supposed to happen two years ago. Oh. Yeah. Well, um, that's not good. So, okay, so she's basically lost just like the past year or two of her memories? It's weird. I don't understand it fully. It's like she's lost a lot of her memories, but there's certain memories that are still intact. One's like me as her son, and she kind of remembered Helpy. She knows who Cassie is. She obviously knows who you are. I mean, you guys haven't really interacted very much. I don't know if she's gonna know who you are from, you know, a long time ago or from right. recently. I don't actually even know if she knows that you guys um 
devastated. Um, but that is, again, besides the point. I just don't know what else to do. Honestly, I, I really don't. I, I want to fix her, but it just feels like no one can help me. I don't want to be that person, especially because I, I do still care about Roxanne. I mean, obviously not in the same way, but she's a really good friend of mine. But yeah. Gregory, I just... I don't know if I can help you this time. If something goes wrong and the blame gets pinned on me again, I, I just... Look, I... It's almost been a year of Bonnie and I being together and Ennard's moved out and I'm I'm still trying to find my own place in this world with my family, you know, with, with William and Michael. Well, actually, it gives me an idea. I'm not going to help because I don't want to get involved. <laughs> but I do know people that have the know-how and the knowledge to be able to help. The Aftons. And, and trust me, I I know they're not exactly the most trustworthy people in the world, but... They're not trustworthy at all. <sighs> yes, I know that. But William is brilliant, and, and so is Michael. No, 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 no. I'm not going to Michael about this, okay? I mean, I, I, I don't think it's a good idea, and I'm absolutely not going to William about this. But... <sighs> Now that I think about it, what? There is technically another Afton who is alive that's helped me in the past. Um, Lucy and Evan are both dead. Did, did you find William's wife? No, um. Oh. Vanessa. Right. It, I always forget about Vanessa being technically an Afton. Uh, that was a shock to Roxanne and I, too. Yeah, well, especially to me, realizing that she's quite literally another sister that I have that I haven't really had the honor of meeting as family. Um, she's really great. It's just we haven't talked in so long, and I didn't know if we were ever going to talk again, to be completely honest. I mean, we it worked on so many things together, and then she came over and her and uh -huh. Roxanne had a conversation and she kind of banned me from ever talking to her again. Which is understandable. We got into a lot of dangerous situations with the whole Mexus program and the Mimic and Roxanne just didn't want me involved anymore. But I don't know. She could be perfect. I she mean, knows all about animatronics yeah. and everything. And you trust her so it sounds like Problem solved. Uh, yeah. I mean, I give her a call. Uh, um, yeah, God, this is going to be weird. It's, it's been a while, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. And plus, I would like the chance to talk to her, too. Yeah. All right. Calling. Cool. Um, <clears throat> oh. That was weird. Let me try Everything again. Okay? I know that... Hold on. I, the service is... Oh, yeah. Really uh, sorry. Bad in um, here. Um... Let me just, yeah, if you could just open that up yeah. for me. Uh, go in the left corner. It always works over there, no matter what, typically. Over by the grill? Uh, no, right over here. Oh, over here. Gotcha. Yep. Um, okay. Huh. What is it? Um, it's just disconnecting immediately. It's like, not to be dramatic, but it's almost like the line doesn't even exist. Uh, um, let me see. Yeah, that's not a service issue, kid. That's because the line doesn't exist. Or, what? Are, are you sure that's the right number? Yes, I'm positive. Um, I've, I've called her so many times. Cassie's called her so many times. That That's huh. her number. Well, maybe, maybe it's not her number anymore? No, it it has to be. I, I, I mean, Gregory, <sighs> it looks like she disconnected it. Why would she disconnect it? I... I don't know. Uh, do you know anything else? Maybe an email where she lives, possibly? Uh... For the first couple of months we were even talking, she didn't even tell me she was Vanessa. She just went by V. 
She was super mysterious. Of course, I don't have an email or anything. Uh, I should be happy I even had her phone number. She hated when we called her. Okay, well... I mean, like I said, I haven't spoken to her. The last person that I know had contact with her was oh, William yeah. when she uh, got into her accident. Oh, gosh. I mean, I asked to see I her know. back then, but he wouldn't let me because she was supposedly in critical condition. Uh, I don't even know if she made it out of that alive if I'm honest uh, look why I, does William have to be the spawn of this everything evil well I mean it is his daughter but that's besides the point I mean it should be easy enough we'll just go over there and we'll ask William where she is maybe he no, has a we're not going over there to ask William where she is there there's another way we can do this there like we what can, um <laughs> we can uh -huh. I'm waiting Look, Gregory, I know how you feel about him. I know how a lot of people feel about him, but he's not as bad as people make him out to be. He's terrible, Circus Baby. He's been terrible, but he's been better as of late. And plus, he's he's helped me a lot, believe it or not. What is he getting out of it? Nothing. Do you actually believe that? I do. <sighs> Fine. I don't like it. I actually think it's a horrible idea. I'm still not convinced that he's not the person behind the child murders happening right now. But, you know, at least you're going to be there to protect me if something were to happen. I won't let anything happen to you. And trust me, I don't think he has any interest in harming you either. So, come on, I'll drive. Okay. And uh, here we are. Welcome to my <sighs> dad's house. Have you been here before? Yes, I've been here. Look, baby, I still don't think this is a great idea, honestly. But... I mean, you wanted to know where Vanessa is, don't you? Or do you not? Because we can but... go home. I mean, grab some McDonald's on the way. Look, I want to know where Vanessa is. I just, there has to be other ways to find out, right? <laughs> not with William I mean, Afton. <laughs> like we talked about before, Gregory, you tried to call her. The line's disconnected and William's the only other person that we know I've recently seen her before, well, she dropped off the face of the planet, so... And trust me, I he's... I know he's kind of rough around the edges, but he's been better lately. He's a rough around every edge. He's just a rough person. He's a child murderer. Well, it, maybe don't bring that up in conversation. At <sighs> least he's not involved in the current string of child murders. Um, we still don't know that for sure. He could be lying to you. He's really good at manipulating people. You know that. I don't think he's but lying, Gregory. Just I digress. Come on. Uh, uh, uh Dad, uh, uh, what, William? I, I still don't really know what to call you. Uh, Scary man. Come on, I, he's gotta be here somewhere. William. Um, maybe he's in his lab. Uh, William. Dad? Hmm. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, um, um, oh, hello, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, we were How? shouting. Um, I was entranced in the art. Um, it looks like someone spilled um, jello and then put glitter in it. On the surface, but what do you see underneath? Jello with glitter in it. Is um, that all you see, Gregory? Maybe some Dawn dish soap, actually, because there's a couple little Ooh, bubbles. With, like, oil? Yeah. What are you there here for? It also looks like there's a kind of creepy face. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, you here to accuse so, me of something? Uh, Maybe. No, no. Perhaps no. more murders have happened. <sighs> Last time I was here, I kind of accused him of being the child murderer. But no, that's not why I'm here this time. Um, I mean, it's a—it's not a bad accusation. I mean, it is yeah, an but entirely he's not, unreasonable accusation. He's not no. stupid enough to just leave behind a purple card that says "I'm back." <sighs> Look, I'm here. Wanting to be here. Evidently so. To find out what happened to Vanessa. Well, I mean, there's more to it than that. Number one, uh, Roxanne Wolf, uh, you probably have heard of her. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> she's kind of dealing with some stuff mentally where she seems to basically have forgotten about the past year of her life. She remembers certain things like being a mom to Gregory, but she doesn't remember others like the fact that she's in a relationship with Glamrock Freddy. Um, 
Does there so, seem to be some issue with amnesia or perhaps another instance of dissociative identity? I don't, I don't think she can just get amnesia. She's an animatronic. I mean, I guess you guys can have, like, memory wipes and stuff, but I just don't understand. This This couldn't have happened, you know, just by herself. Someone had to have done something to her. Exactly. And I don't really want to get involved for my own personal reasons. Um, so... That does uh, make sense, great. but perhaps if you get involved, the two of you could figure out something together. No, because the last time that Circus Baby got involved... <laughs> Um, bad, really, really bad things happened. I and literally shattered her. <clears throat> shattered? In mind or physical form? Both. Mm, kind of both. <laughs> um, uh, but that's besides the point. So the reason we're here today is because we think, or well, Gregory thinks, that Vanessa would be a good person to help with the situation. You know, Gregory and Vanessa are actually really good friends. I still haven't gotten a chance to meet her, and she's quite literally my sister, so that would be cool. And you and haven't thought that I as... could perhaps be of aid to Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to let you even touch Roxanne? That's, that's, oh, okay. you're, you're crazy if you think that. You're not touching Roxanne. Let's not and Why be not, rude. Gregory? I'm not being rude. I'm being reasonable. You think I'm going to let William Afton do anything to Roxanne? I know you're not going to let him do anything to Roxanne, but at the same time, he is a brilliant man who probably, I mean, that's probably why Vanessa knows everything she knows. That's besides the point. Also, besides, what do you mean by let me do? Are you under the impression you could stop me from doing anything I set my mind to? Okay, do okay. Do not do anything to Roxanne. I was simply offering my help. But if you don't, don't think she your needs help. help, very well. Actually, you can help me with something. You can answer this question. What happened to Vanessa? The last time I saw her, she was in a hospital bed. And you were there protecting her. You wouldn't let Roxanne and I see her. And you simply think that Vanessa's the answer to the problem rather than me. Okay, well, look. Look, I actually trust Vanessa. I don't trust you. Okay, stop. Dad, William, whatever I need to call you. You have a little bit of a shady past. You can't... A little bit? You have a very much shady past. Yes, the past. So you can't fault people for not trusting you. Yes, I can. But Gregory, whatever. Uh. Aside the point, Gregory trusts Vanessa. And why? It, it almost seems like you're avoiding the topic. What happened to Vanessa? Where is she? Fine. You did something to her. I know it. So you have come here to accuse things to me that I have not done. We're Excellent. not accusing, we're asking. Gregory's just very passionate about finding her. It well, fine. I'll tell you what I can, but there's nothing much to tell. Oh, I'm sure there isn't. We've lost her. What? Wait. <laughs> what, 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 lost? what did you- She was in the hospital and we lost her. She's dead? What? What, what did you happen? do to her? De what? Dead? No, how, I said how? we lost her. As in, she's not there anymore. Where did she go? That's literally what we're asking right now. Yes, we lost her. One minute she was in the hospital, and then when I went to check, shortly after seeing you, in fact, Gregory, she had gone what? missing. I thought you said. Are you trying to say I had something to do with her disappearing? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I am not saying. suggesting that a small. 11 year old child has something to do with a disappearing. Okay, so I'm 12. 12. I stand corrected. Happy birthday. I thought you said Vanessa's situation was critical. Like she was going to be in the hospital for weeks, not just up and leave. Which is all the more surprising why one would simply up and leave from the hospital. It seemed like a terrible but choice on. How her did part, she even or... up and leave, though? If she was. On I'm sure she. Rest has her reasons and everything is probably under control but probably what reasons? you're the one that was supposed to be watching her you wouldn't let anyone else see her Indeed, talk to her do anything you see you would likely understand the concept of distrust well yeah you blocked off the entire hospital wing and wouldn't let roxanne and i even see her and perhaps <laughs> my children vanessa being perhaps foremost don't necessarily have the most trust in me or it's complicated, to say the least. So you're implying that Vanessa left because she didn't want anything to do with you, right? I mean, I get that. We simply don't have the best family dynamic. Not in a traditional sense, at least. Surprise, surprise. Okay, look. look Vanessa, shocked. she's very strong-willed. Stubborn. I wonder where she gets that from. Indeed. Look, she was at a hospital with security cameras. 
All we have to do is go to the hospital, hack into the security system, and maybe we can get a clue of where she went, at least what direction. I... Yeah, I guess that's not a horrible idea. It isn't a horrible idea. In fact, that's why I've already done it. Oh? Oh? oh okay. Uh, yes, but when I looked, I was looking through. I made sure to comb the footage, decode all the encryptions, anything that I could try, but no matter what I looked at, the footage was glitched. In the entirety of that glitched? time frame. Yes. <sighs> this is Vanessa we're talking about here. You know how smart she is. I mean, Indeed. it sounds to me like she doesn't want you to know where she is. It but... sounds to me like she doesn't want anyone to know where she is. Glitching the footage that would have hopefully helped us find her. Blocking, well, disconnecting her phone line that you had access to. Y- I you just don't... don't understand. We we were friends. We, we were helping each other. We still have unfinished business that we needed to get done. Still, the <sighs> fact that all of these things are leading to the same concept of her willing to rid herself of everything seems to be that she is under some sort of control. So, I expect everything to be fine. Well, things might be fine with I her. I still don't trust you. She probably ran away to get away from you. You were probably doing something to her. And you have complete contact with her, you're saying? Well, not anymore. So perhaps she ran away from you as well. Look, clearly, whoever she's running away from, she doesn't want involved with us. But whether she's okay or not... Roxanne still isn't. Yeah. And once again, to the point I brought up initially, I am available to serve if you would require it. I'm not even going to entertain this idea. Very well, I will not help you if you don't wish me to help you. You're not going to help me, though. You're going to turn her into some, like, murderous robot. We don't Would you like that. to know the On last animatronic note. I helped? Which one was the that? The very same one you are putting your trust <clears throat> in and working with at this very moment. He has helped me so a lot, So think about Gregory. that. Next time you distrust my motive. Look, I don't think I'm ever going to trust you. On that note, I think it's time for us to go. Uh, thank you for the... Nothing? Thank you for the information. Sorry to bother you. Um, come on, Gregory. I gotta get you home. Good luck with whatever your plan is. You too. I'm sure you probably have one that you're not telling us about, so. This doesn't make any sense. I just, I don't understand. Why would Vanessa cut off contact with the only people she loves and cares about? Oh my gosh. I mean, who knows? Roxanne told her to cut contact with me, so maybe that had something to do with it. But no, that just... None of this is adding up. Plus, we were still working on stuff, and... Why was she even in the hospital to begin with? The news never even actually specified or went into any details about what happened to her. I'm just worried about her, and William just doesn't seem to be worried about her at all. I mean, it's his daughter! Not that he cares. I mean, he doesn't have a great relationship with any of his children, especially Evan and Lizzie. They're literally dead. I just, oh, wait. This could work. You're exactly who I need. (laughs) 